first recovery that we are going to see is pop-up recovery. So pop-up recovery I simulate, I record, simulating pop-up recovery. The way I record is important. Here up to insert order there is no change in our recording mode. After insert order I am now clearing the new order screen. I click on new order screen. Once I click on new order screen I go to help about OK. I do this as well to ensure you have understood recovery properly. So after insert order, I cl click on new order button. After new order button, I click on help about and then I click on OK button. With this, I completed my script. When I run the script, before I run, I comment this line number 10. When insert order click is commented, after he enters the select the tickets, he tries to move to the button click. Button click is nothing but new order screen. When he tries to click on the new order, he comes up with a pop-up. Because of that pop-up, help about is disabled, he cannot manage. This is what we are trying to manage now. I am going to run the script. Watch, line number 10 is being commented. Because of that, after line number 9, he tries to click on win button click that is a new order button. When he clicks on new order button my behavior of the application is changed. Because of that I am going to trigger the recovery. So he is entering the name, tickets. So the insert order is commented. He directly accessed line number 11. Line number 11 issued a pop-up window. Because of this pop-up window, now QTP is going to fail. In my case, once it is failed, we need to manage it through recovery. So he has failed because of that window he has failed and since he has failed we need to manage it through recover. I am simulating a pop-up event through this so that we know how recovery manages that. Right? Fine. Now I like to create a recovery for that event. So I should know what is the event which caused my recovery to get triggered. Here it is a pop-up event and in this pop-up event this is the information of the pop-up which is supposed to trigger my recovery. Once this triggers my recovery I need to manage my next operation. So I go to resources recovery scenario manager. Under this Recovery Scenario Manager, you have, you can create recovery scenarios. So now I am going to create a scenario called pop-up event. So I create a new scenario. You have different workflow. You can see now first is trigger event after the welcome screen. You have a trigger event left hand side. Then recovery event. First is what triggers the recovery, what you know, do with that window that is recovery event, what I need to do with that window is my recovery event. After that event is managed, what you want QTP to do that is my post recovery. Finally, I am giving the name to that scenario, saving the file is my last operation. So I go to now trigger event. 
I have four possible triggers. In this case, it is a pop-up window. So pop-up window triggers my recovery. Fine. I go to accept it. I go to next. Which pop-up you like to handle? What for under which pop-up you want QTP to get trigger the recovery? I use hand symbol. I place my hand symbol onto the object which generates or which is supposed to trigger the recovery. In my case, it is flight reservations. If this window appears, I want to trigger the recovery. In case, if this has some candidates which are not supposed to be or which are supposed to be ignored, you can use regular expression as well. So this is the candidate which triggers my recovery. Now I am into a recovery event. Trigger event is over. Recovery event. What you like to do with that object? Now I go to click. Next. Now these are all my available operation type on that object. One is keyboard or mouse operation. Please note keyboard or mouse operation here means click event. The click event are considered as a keyword or mouse operation. When I say click, in QTP recognized as a click. In QTP, any button, when you make a click on that button, it is recognized as a click. If you click on a text box, it is not recognized as a click. It is set. I am setting the value of the test set box, edit box. That is not a click event. If I am making a check on the check box, it is again considered as a set event. It is not considered as a click event. So click event here, it means most of the time related to the button operations. So next, I have close application process. I can close this application itself. Then I can use functional call. This functional call allows you to use library, functional library. Then restart windows. Restart windows. I can restart the entire windows for managing this recovery. So these are all four operation types available. In our case, it is a click event on a button. So I go with the keyboard or mouse operation. What are all the possible operations available under keyboard or operation type? I can click on a default button if you have any. I can click on a cancel button if you have. I can click on a button with label as well. I can click on a button with label. I say now I choose the label yes. I want to click if this message box appears. I want to click yes button. This is the way the button is recognized with and, and sim, is the name of the button. Then my recovery is over. What I want to do next? Do you want to add any more recovery to this operation? Answer is no. Next is I am getting into post recovery. I click on next. It will go into the post recovery. Now line number 11 generated the error. That error before he sends the error. He since you have triggered the recovery he handles that error by clicking on to the yes button after it clicks on to the yes button what you want QTP to do whether you want him to execute line number 12 sorry not line number 11 line number 12 generated an error whether you want him to repeat that line number 12 or you want to what you want to do you want to proceed to next step Proceed to next action or component iteration. Proceed to next text iteration. Restart the current test run. Stop the test run. What do you want to do? Here we say repeat the current step and continue because we want line number 12 to be executed. Please note a point. For post recovery to get enabled and in working condition to see it in working condition, you need to ensure script debugger, Microsoft script debugger installed in your machine. 
how do i know whether i have got installed microsoft script debugger whenever you see an execution marker in qtp that means microsoft script debugger is installed in your machine in case if you are not able to see a execution marker yellow color marker while it executing to the left of your script that means microsoft script debugger is not installed in your machine when microsoft script debugger is not installed post recovery event will not work he will not generate an error as well please make a note of this point this is how qtp behaves i say next i go to next now i save the file in my case it is a pop up event i give the scenario as a pop up i can say next i am adding this scenario to my current test i don't want to get into default default means whenever i create a new script automatically adds that scenario i don't want that to happen i am adding that to the current test alone i say finish now i created a pop up recovery so what i did in the pop up recovery first is i need to know what are all the events that can affect first is i need to know the trigger event once i know the trigger event which object is supposed to get triggered i use the trigger event pointer hand point it on to that object it captures the information to manage that object next is my recovery operation what do you want to do on that object you want him to click on button yes fine he does it then after i do finish up that event what you want qtp to do in the post recovery you say repeat the current step and continue so he clicks from the error this line in which it has generated the error he will rerun that line so this is what we have done then we saved the file we have completed now i am saving it into a qrs file i am now click on close it opens a one more window to save this entire session i am now moving on to qrs file so again recovery is part of our project so i need to go into online class i create a folder called recovery under this recovery i create now this file i say flight reservation recovery this is my qrs file under this in a qrs file i can have n number of scenarios i save it you can keep each scenario as a different file as well now having done that if you go to file settings in settings you can notice now under recovery you can notice now flight reservation dot qrs is called and in that scenario name pop up is called i can add more scenarios i can delete the scenario from here if i make it as a set as default for any new script i add automatically the recovery is added this is at the script level not at the action level activate recovery scenario on error on every step in our case it is on error so i say apply okay for each scenario type your post recovery will change in my case post recovery is repeat the current step and continue that means i am trying to do it on error i don't want to check the recovery until a qtp sees an error message so in my case now i have completed i come back to qtp execute the script so after line number 9 you can notice now after line number 9 when he comes to line number 11 he triggers that pop up line number 11 triggers the pop up line number 12 fails to execute because help about is disabled before he sends the failure he checks the pop up recovery if it is there he will try to handle it through pop up recovery now i am running the script i clicked on run 
it is executing now. So he enters the name to so now client number 12 is waiting for the default synchronization timeout before he sends the error message he looks for the recovery if he sees there is a recovery because you have triggered a recovery he handles it through recovery now you can see that yes button is clicked through recovery he has clicked and the post recovery event is managed post recovery event will not get triggered in case if you don't have a Microsoft script debugger please ensure this portion of the information now I open the report automation result I open the report in this report you can see a warning message the warning message indicates that menu select is failed before he sends the error this is the failure reason he sends the error he sees that they have called a pop-up recovery and that pop-up recovery manages activated by trigger pop-up window flight reservation is the caption he has managed this the information then he went into retry operation that is the next step so he managed that window you can drill down onto that what he has done you can drill down and see what he has done this is the event that he has done under recovery then you have a post recovery this post recovery repeat current step and continue so he has clicked onto the menu select again then he clicked on to the about and then clicked on to the ok. These three steps you will not see in case if you are not having a script debugger. But he will not send an error message. It peacefully stops but he doesn't execute post recovery events when script debugger is not installed. So this is about pop-up recovery. If you have any questions, please let me know.